Hey guys, um, running a little bit late today, but we will get started soon. Um, today's just a session zero. Um, I don't know exactly how long we'll go. Um, and I know if anybody missed the VOD or missed last week's session and then tried to watch the VOD, it cut it off like halfway through. Don't know why, but it did. So. Um, yeah, we'll get going here shortly, and we're going to be doing a session zero for, um, the party moving on to Dungeon of the Mad Mage, um, which is going to be our next long-term campaign, barring a TPK. So... Curse of Strahd did not take as long as we had hoped, but it ended well. Um, I will do a recap during the beginning of the session for everyone, so. But we'll get started shortly. Extremely enjoying the new song on the rhythm bot. It's very peaceful. Yeah, it's very Skyrim-esque. Yes, I agree. Is it Skyrim though? Probably not.
I'll be back. Okay. Looks fine to me. Yep. Looking good. <sighs> Just in time. I cr I have finished creating a new character. Ah. <laughs> Why is everybody creating new characters? I, I mean, I'm like still going to be playing darts. Die. What? What? <laughs> I mean, it is Dungeon of the Mad Mage, so you should probably have a backup. I do have a or eight, yeah. I currently have two on hand. I have one, and one of them is actually local. <laughs> I don't do local characters just because it would take too much to actually try and research the local like area especially for dungeon of the mad mage there's just too much going on ah uh, water i wa mean water, water deep is a larger town yeah no. water deep is a massive city and it just so happens there's a person in water deep that no one would know about that is looking for a job so if someone dies uh they're up there Totally. <laughs> okay. Well, Melissa will be back. Um, she just had to drop the girls off. And I know Alexa said she'll be here soon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we can get... So, today is kind of just going to be a Session Zero-esque thing. For, okay. for this, um, mostly because at the end of Strahd, you all made it to, well, you were all headed to Waterdeep, so I've kind of already assumed that you guys continued your journey from Barovia to Daggerford to Waterdeep, um, but, you know, there's been a six-month gap from when you all from the time you killed Strahd and collected the final things you wanted to collect from Barovia and did the last few things there to now like when the point where you guys are getting in like preparing for the delve into the uh, the delve into Under Mountain, which is what the dungeon is actually called. <laughs> I, I love how they call it. It has like a proper name and everything. Um, 
but yeah so I think that's uh, mostly what we're gonna do today is kind of catch up with the uh, party members that were s still active after the fall of Strahd and um, find out where they've been what they've been doing and then we'll get into the two new um, characters and why you're all gonna be delving beneath the yawning portal into the under mountain um, but I would guess we're gonna we'll, we'll start this off alphabetically but I don't know if we'll be able to continue it alphabetically <laughs> but we'll start okay. with well, because, so, it's Alarin and then Arietta. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, I don't, I, you know, it's, it's, if Melissa's back and she can come up with anything, I'm sure she hasn't had a whole, time to, a whole lot of time to think about anything about with this yet. Um, I mean, it, <laughs> Alarin's not been doing much other than traveling from town to town, extolling the virtues of the people who helped uh, in the party to defeat Strahd. Wow, that sounds kind of boring. While thinking, of, while thinking about where we're going and what kind of stories he can get from Waterdeep. <laughs> Such a big city he hasn't been in for uh, <laughs> quite a while, so... He's gonna have some interesting tales to tell by the time this is over, he's sure. So, has he spent, like, the whole... Like, the period of time in between the two, has he spent most of it in Waterdeep? Like, in the... In the taverns and yeah, 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 definitely. He's been running around the city, getting all the information from the other local bards that he can get. And people have to have entertainment, of course. Yeah. And maybe, maybe on the side, he's composing some more for his great ballad of the death of Strahd. I mean, it has been six months. He's he's probably pretty close to done if <laughs> not done with it. Yeah. Um, he's he's learned all he can from the tome of Strahd that he's been in that. Yeah, the Thomas Strahd that he was given. Okay. Um. I did give you a interesting magical item. I don't know if you noticed. No, I didn't. Let me see. It's in your uh, attuned magic yep, I'm, item. I'm looking. I'm looking. Most most of the people. Um, the only person I haven't gone in and really looked through all the character sheet is on Zev, but but yeah. Okay. So okay. Okay. <laughs> so I would assume maybe like Alarin is going to be the uh, antagonist of this journey into. Under Mountain. Adam, back. What a miss. Ah, uh, we're just we're just talking about what Alarin's been doing for the past six months in game. Gotcha. Because the I don't I know. He's definitely he's definitely using his fancy new instrument I, uh, to wow all the people <laughs> in all the places. Um. Because I, I know Josh doesn't know this, but Alorin would. The, the Yawning Portal is actually a tavern. It's probably the most famous tavern in all of Faerun. Because it literally, in the middle of it, has a giant portal that can lead you kind of anywhere. It's like it's the whole basis for the book Tales from the Onion Portal. <laughs> yeah, but definitely no. But me personally, I did not. Yeah. So I was right. We were starting at the Yawning Portal. Yep. Ha! Huh. Yeah. No. Yeah. It starts in the Yawning Portal because um, like. The Yawning Portal is basically the hub of 
adventurers in in Waterdeep, sort of. Yep. It was an educated guess. <laughs> it was at this moment, Darts knew he had to send help. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. Okay, I guess uh, we'll go to Darts. What has Darts been doing for the past, like, six months? Probably spreading the word, trying to get adventurers to rally and help the people of Barovia rebuild. Okay. Did he, did he join a, a, I guess my biggest question is, why the hell is Darts a monk? <laughs> okay, the reason <laughs> that I multi-classed him into a monk was because of the main reason, uh, he is trying to go into more of a meditative, uh, I guess, fighting style. Because of after all of what happened, uh, he had a realization that he has to work in different ways than what he used to. Uh, so he needed a new start and started taking up the ways of the monk. Okay, so I... I was hoping there was a, like a kind of RP reason for it, besides just the fact that <laughs> Monk is broken. I mean, there is. <laughs> he needed a change in style. He needed to reform. Okay. I'm assuming he's going to still be using his greatsword, though. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Brandon. Yes. Are you happy that there's going to be a Kenshi monk now? What? Are you happy that there's going to be a Kenshi monk now because greatsword user <laughs> and a monk? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you could definitely go Kensai, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, I already got one of those in Zev. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's not a monk. <laughs> oh, we'll get we'll we'll get in we'll get into Zev. He's an interesting character. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, interesting. and then I guess we can catch up with Arietta and Vera whenever they show up. Um, what has Zella been doing? Zella probably went, um, back to her hometown to take care of some business on the outskirts of her town. Um, and then decided to uh, hightail it right back out of there. Um, and maybe trying to catch up with either Alarin or um, Vera, probably. So she dealt with some of her uh, background stuff, and then <laughs> and then charged right back to Waterdeep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Um. Okay, well, what's um? Let's start with our. Let's uh, introduce our uh, new characters, uh, and we can start with Crystal. Who is Crystal, and why? What's their biggest reason for adventuring? Well, you guys haven't really found her yet, but she um, works. At my notes. Okay, so Crystal is a wizard who works at the Great Library at the Font of Knowledge. She repairs books. She likes books. Books in your city? Not here, yep. Ick. Not here. Yep. Yep. She is a water ganasi. That's about what I got right now. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. She she like is mon like kind of more of the mundane. She has a day job. <laughs> She's an average person with very high intelligence. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. What? Um. Okay. Ip. Give us a little mm. bit about Zev. You don't have to give us his whole backstory, obviously, because that was really long and very deep. But it's like a a little bit about him. Uh, he's a <coughs> that is that. Oh no. <coughs> oh. Oh God, God, I love it. Um, he is a virgin that is an ex-cult member and wields a unique weapon. If Brandon allows me that. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Because I can make him. Okay, all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Which looks like a simple metal pole arm. Uh, he is, let's see, hold on, I can get you the exact details real quick. Because I, I gave him a height and everything. He is, uh, 25 years old. He has no hair. Green, green grayish skin. Apparently, the jaws of a Greek god. <laughs> He's extremely handsome. Um. <clears throat> go to description, there we go. And his eyes are yellow. And he's six foot. He's an average virgin, except for his face. His picture is now in general. <laughs> mm, also, he is wearing a white shirt with black suspenders and black slacks. <laughs> with dress shoes. He's a very dapper boy. <laughs> I, I think... I think that's all that needs to be described. Is there anything more that should... No, that's fine. Okay, alright. Crystal is also in general chat now, too. For those who haven't seen those two. <laughs> so, it, it sounds like the party has basically kind of, uh, you know... Obviously, Crystal and Zev are not yet part of the party, but it, it seems as though most of the party has been taking on odd jobs or just doing things around Waterdeep. Um, 
just in like a, a you know downtime kind of taking taking care to make sure they're prepared for whatever their next adventure is and uh, during this time several of you would have probably encountered um, requests for aid or just Alan you may have encountered a, a during research and everything which bards tend to do whether they like it or not whether they like it or not <laughs> they just kind of soak up information and Alan's just really freaking good at that and especially if you're spending a lot of time in the yawning portal you would have heard of Halister Black Cloak of who course is this ancient um they call him mad mage who designed his own um they call it a dungeon but it, it is actually just his home um it's just a death trap that's all well it, it's not even intentionally a death trap like he just he's a he's an an archmage like he is just an ancient mage who studies things and creates things and he's kind of got this place that you can all that people can go called Undermountain and sometimes he <laughs> kind of like Strahd <laughs> he kind of invites people especially adventurers because you know every every so often you you kind of have to clean out your experiments and everything you know you gotta you gotta clean things up to get started fresh um th this is not what's currently happening but it has happened in the past <coughs> and you all some of you are inadvertently invited. Some of you are invited, especially Alarin, um, if you're spending a lot of time like going around talking about uh, and singing about and extolling the virtues of the party that destroyed Strahd. Um, which, you know, would probably garner you a lot of attention. In, in certain circles in Waterdeep. Um, you are actually a, approached by some uh, by a scholar from the, uh, the the font of knowledge in Waterdeep who actually is looking for adventurers to travel into Under Mountain and collect um, rare bits of magic and magical items and so on and so forth. Like, basically looking to get their hands on whatever they can from Under Mountain um, to further their own ends. And, uh, during one of your nights in in the yawning portal they approach you and they have this <clears throat> um uh, rather attractive but kind of <coughs> i guess i wouldn't say standoffish but quiet um young uh water ganasi with them and the uh the scholar she looks she's a uh an older tiefling woman dressed in very wizardly robes and she looks to you and goes well if you and your former or maybe still traveling companions would be of uh, 
some assistance to me, I would pay you handsomely for any magical items that you don't need and any kind of uh, tomes or research properties I could use to uh, extend my own knowledge and power. Um, and uh, if you're looking for the aid, I can send and she kind of points to this young water ganasi woman and a uh, crystal here would be more than uh, she kind of looks at crystal and goes happy. She gives a slight wave. <laughs> uh, she'd be more than happy to aid you in your adventures. <laughs> I have a uh, another man that I've hired as of recently. He hasn't shown up here yet. Uh, his name is Zev. He's a he's an interesting one. Um, but he would uh, be travel. He would be uh, willing to travel with you as well. Um, and I'd like to have you do some research on uh, the most famous of uh, wizardly dungeons um, under mountain for me. And she kind of just like almost like it, it seems like she almost kind of abruptly stops and gets kind of lost in this train of thought. It's kind of like, you know, like when people are reminiscing about something in their head, but they're not like sharing it vocally. Darts would probably speak up and ask, We're not going to be trapped in Undermountain, are we? Um, she, she kind of, she kind of breaks from her revelry and looks to you and goes, Trapped is, uh, no? I don't think so. Can I make an insight check? <laughs> yeah, he can. Uh, I can do it well. Okay. Okay, we got Vera on here. Yes! Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. That's oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> the scroll of the day! Natural 20, 23. <laughs> she seems... It, it seems more of a... An uncertainty. Rather than, like, a direct lie. She's not... She's not lying to you, but she's also... She is keeping something. You're not like... I freaking love these magical dice. That you're not you're not quite sure what she's keeping, but um she she is keeping something from you. She's keeping something? Okay. Well Darth wouldn't know much because he's not trained in the uh insight too much. But Oh no, my dice! Uh, it fell on the floor. <laughs> I feel bad. Maybe it's cursed now. Um. Oh no, I hope not. But darts would probably, uh, hesitantly ask, "What do we get out of this?" Well, you get paid for any magical items that you bring back to me. Obviously, I don't expect you to give me everything that you find, but if there's anything you find that is unnecessary for your further adventuring, then you can... I, I will pay you for it, and I will pay you handsomely for it. Um, 
and my assistant Crystal can contact me at any time that you are available to meet and we can exchange your goods for my coin and then that that is the extent of our, our business deal you explore you find things I pay you for them if you don't want them and we can further things from there I will warn you that adventurers have entered under mountain before and have not returned but darts will probably uh <laughs> Just be like, well, it wouldn't be the first time we've gone against something that people haven't returned from. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, your your bard friend uh, has made, has extolled the virtues of your adventuring party all over water deep in the surrounding area. He is a very affluent, uh, character and one thing you could call him <laughs> and at, at this point as you guys are kind of having this like not not so serious conversation uh the door to the tavern opens and you you see a tall um green skinned man walk through he's very well dressed you know Button-up shirt, bow tie, suspenders, black slacks, and he's uh bearing like what looks just be this like a quarter staff, but it's like metal. Um, he looks around and sees um your your uh. benefactor, I guess would be the best word I can come up with right now. Um, and walks straight over to your table, pulls up a chair, sits down. <laughs> How does he sit down? I don't like know. Like normal or let, like chair backwards? I don't know. Ip, How does Zev sit down at the table? <laughs> oh, you know he's sitting on the chair backwards. Oh, that's what I thought. Like pulls up, turns a chair, and sits with the the back, like, but at his chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pull pulls a pulls a baseball cap out of his back pocket, puts it on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rolls up his sleeves. No. He's like, "Would you like to rap a little bit?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 90s kids would understand. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -mm. And, uh. This, uh. Magely woman, whose name has yet to be revealed. She, she seems to be keeping it a little bit, like. You know. Secretive? Yeah. She hasn't quite. Quite. Am it. I getting the same. F okay, would Darth get the same feel? As, like, from that Vistani that led them into Strahd's domain? No. No. Okay. Like, she is, she's a genuine, like, like, she, she works in the font of Nod. Like, she is, like, she is literally just a scholar, but she's trying to keep her involvement in your little expedition as, um... As low as possible? Well, as uh, quiet as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the fact that she's letting her assistant help you um, puts a little bit of it out there, but... Yeah. Crystal has probably been known to do her own thing sometimes as well. <laughs> but, um... I mean, you do need some other activities other than just, you know, fixing books all day. Yeah. 
So, it, you know, like, the fact that Crystal is traveling with the, the party wouldn't necessarily be, like, a standout thing. Yeah. Um. I guess she could be a monitor kind of thing. Uh. <laughs> And, uh, so she, she looks to you, Zev, and she's like, welcome, uh, this, and she kind of just, like, waves her hand across this, like, it's actually a rather large table that you're sitting at, and there's, um, several of the, there's several interesting looking characters, including, like, uh, you've probably seen them quite a bit around Waterdeep, there's Tabaxi, um, you know, a high elf, uh, Water Ganassi. This woman who looks human, uh, but has, like, almost, like, these small, like, pieces of, like, shimmering scale on her face and arms. Um, who has a, a snake, a, a live snake that kind of wraps around her neck, is like, almost like a choker. Um, <clears throat> a, uh... And then there's the man, the Kalistar bard, the high elf who looks with a great sword across their back that kind of looks, you know, prepared for just about anything. And then there's the uh, half-elf woman who dressed in chain mail and heavy armor. They all look like they've a lot of them, excluding Crystal, look like they're well-traveled and have dealt with a whole crap load of things that, um, you, pro you may have heard stories of the adventurers that killed Strahd, because you've been in Waterdeep for quite a while. I assume most people in Waterdeep in the past six months have gotten quite an earful about the death of Strahd and um everything but yeah so as a group you know and you know with Zev there she goes well I will take my leave uh and allow you all to get to know each other um oh there's also a Tabaxi <laughs> who's who's been rather quiet during all of this and um she uh um but she goes I will take my leave and uh you all can get to know each other um like I said have Crystal contact me if for any reason you have items you want to um you want me to take off your hands and I wish you the best of luck and yeah I just good luck <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of like she keeps like during the times when she's been talking she gets kind of she does like almost like pause unceremoniously and like have like these moments where it's like this weird reverie revelry that she gets into like she's it's like she's remembering something but you just kind of maybe she's just a kooky old mage who works in a library you know <laughs> like you're, you're not you're not a hundred percent certain as to oh. as she's walking away <laughs> darks would be like what an odd person. In in your in, in your mind darts you hear you're one to talk. Uh Zella was about to say that. <laughs> so was <Vera. laughs> uh, just like uh you know, people would call you odd with what you've been through and been. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's fine. I might be glad to not have killed you back then. <laughs> Thank you, Zella. Well... You know, you all are quite 
eccentric. And I'm European. So it's quite a surprise. Oh no, again the accent again. Damn it, no, that one. Yeah, no, that was Bruno. I don't know who you were trying to do. Hold on, 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 hold it's burned into my soul. Hold on. Uncle Babby. Dirks would probably notice this, and it's just like... Oh yeah, no, oh. there's there's no hiding it. It's, it's, yeah. Well, welcome to the team. Uh... Who wants wine? I'm down for some wine. Anyone has, want wine? Has Vera become an alcoholic over the span of the, uh... Vera, uh, kind of winces at the mention of wine, and is like, um... No thanks. <laughs> she remembers what happened last time. She doesn't want it to happen again. <laughs> also, at a Crystal's slouch, she kind of like recognizes that kind of slouch. Like they're gone, I can breathe, kind of thing. <sighs> Let's see, I do believe I finally have a more proper accent in terms of what Zev sounds like. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was a bit blindsided by my own troublesome accent of, of a prior life, <laughs> but this is a much more representative of what he sounds like. Now, is Zeb saying this all in character? Because that would be amazing. He is. Okay. <laughs> Darts is a little confused. <laughs> oh, it's all quite alright. Everybody is in the beginning. <laughs> but it seems I'll be working with you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Six. Six. Miscount. <laughs> I suppose so. Lovely. Well, let me formally introduce myself. I am Zeb. I have no last name. That's it. I'm adventurer extraordinaire, one of man of culture, and of style. <laughs> Aller and I found your friend. <laughs> Oh, hello, I'm Vera. Also, a last name. I don't really know how to describe myself, but here I am. <laughs> I, uh, I am Lady Zella Sabi, but you, you can drop the lady if if it's easier on the, the tongue. Oh, no, 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 no. A lady has earned their title. If thy is a lady, thy shall be named lady. Lady Zella, it is an honor and privilege to meet thee. Likewise. <laughs> I will be back. Okay. No, not me. Zella's gonna go to the bar and get some wine. She asked people and nobody responded, so she's getting herself some. <laughs> All right. I... Way, uh... Darts didn't respond <clears throat> for a reason. <laughs> I'm Crystal. Hello. I work at the Fawn of Knowledge. I'm a scholar. Well, how uh... are you saying? If you're a scholar. She just nods. Could you tell us some more about this, uh, under... area? Uh, under mountain? Was that what it was? Um, it's not fully my realm of expertise as... by scholar, I kind of fix the books that the other scholars break. And damage. Oh. So you're basically 
cleanup crew. <laughs> I know how that mm. job was. Uh, to put it crudely. <laughs> Just for everybody's knowledge, Vera is kind of pouty now because Lady Zella got a lot of attention from the new guy and Vera did not. So, <laughs> Vera's kind of... <laughs> Okay, with my passive perception, would I be able to, like, see that? Oh, yeah. It's super obvious. <laughs> okay, well, if it's obvious, Darts is just gonna pat you on the back. I feel like it's okay. Zello will bring Vera a non-alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Vera gets a Zima. <laughs> um. Just grape juice, no wine. Yep. Takes it kind of tentatively and is like, looks it's, at it and then looks fine. at you. You're fine. It, it's not alcohol. And then slowly takes a sip of it. Roll me Realizes. a constitution saving throw. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. No. Oh, Let's see. Crystal would grab a chair, but take like a cloth out of her bag and wipe it down. <laughs> She's wearing kind of like this uh, v-neck corset with an asymmetric skirt. Darts will probably sit in his chair and uh, pull the greatsword off of his back and start uh, polishing it with a cloth. No weapons on the table. It's not on the table. He's just in his chair polishing it. Okay. <laughs> it's like making sure the hilt is all nice and the blade is pristine. What is Arietta doing during all this? Yeah, you're in a tavern. She's also muted. Uh, I go grab a drink. Oh. I go grab a drink and then I kind of just stand and watch everyone. <laughs> Over this time of the like past six months, has we have we just been like following Ariada? I guess. Um, you... I think we kind of just quietly adopted her okay so we would we wouldn't we would like have spent time with arietta yeah yes yeah most most likely the 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 likelihood is uh the party members that stayed together and traveled to water deep um possibly like you spent all of your time relatively together like obviously you're not going to spend every minute of every day like up each other's butts but obviously but like <laughs> i just wanted to know so Ari darts could is... have interactions ariadne you know? is also probably the shyest one of the bunch so keep yes, that in traveling mind. merchant traveling merchant shy you know yeah like would you like any of my artifacts Hides behind a tree. <sighs> uh, the, does the winter fingers touching each other? Would you please buy something? <laughs> right? <laughs> See that? So, uh, uh, when are we going to... Um, head out then. Well, I'd prefer it be as soon as possible. Also, I could check out this new area. But that's really up to the group. Really, it's whenever you guys are ready. God, everyone's so indecisive. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, this oh. is literally my job is to help you now. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Darts, yeah, let's, let's, let's go as soon as, sword. as soon as I finish this glass of wine. She chugs it. <laughs> chugs. 
well. Uh, I, I guess Darts would be a little, like, have a surprised expression on his face. Like... <laughs> Zella, not how so much could of a you lady waste and... such a good vintage like not, that? I guess she's gone a little barbaric, hasn't she? Uh, you know, sometimes when life gives you something good, you just gotta drink it. Right. Don't waste time letting it, you know, go Spoil. bad. Yes. Yeah. Um. That is very true. Enjoy the time you have. Are you going to kill me? What? I said enjoy the time I have. That sounds yes, a little bit the... like a threat. No, it's not a threat. It's <laughs> that does like not sound like a threat. threat. She's, she's smiling. She's smiling. Past tense. But Dar <laughs> Darsh is like all flustered and it's just like, I wasn't going to do anything, I swear. She's always smiling. Like, mm. just, like, she's amusing herself. Darts is panicked. <laughs> Crystal is just looking hand. around at the group, trying to figure out what, what she's in for. <laughs> like, I why? Sit right in. Goes back to panicking. <laughs> she kind of like covers her book a little bit more, kind of like protectively, you just on her see. lap. <laughs> Nobody here wants your books. Don't worry. You can see a glimmer of excitement in Zev's eye, just simply like, Oh my goodness, I found my people. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alar, you, you would know from your time spent in the Yawning Portal um, that the person you want to talk to is Durnan, the barkeep. Who, right. um, it, there, there is a lot of... Uh, interesting background to the character of Zern of Dernan. Um that you you probably picked up a few things here and there. The the fact that he is a human. Um looks to be in his late thirties, early forties. Um but from all records he is nearly four centuries old. Oh what? Uh oh Okay then. Um, Flashbacks. Have, uh, has has Alaron learned anything specific on if he follows any rules? Like, does he have any specific things that he he uh, like takes as like ritual? Like, if you give him a set number of coins or something, he'll give you a bow. That kind of stuff. Well, he will talk about his adventures in Undermountain. <laughs> oh, he went to Undermountain and gained immortality. Got yeah. it. <laughs> relative but yeah yeah he spent a lot of time there um if you if you had any any like questions or anything you could probably ask him you don't he seems like a pretty easy going guy um but you would have to also talk to him to gain access because the yawning portal which is like literally you can all see it in the middle of of this this massive tavern it is Literally just, it is just a giant portal that lays flat on the ground in the middle of uh, this bar. Um, is it like barred off so people don't accidentally fall into it? Um, it's inactive. Like, it has oh, to be. Oh, so we gotta talk to uh, the barkeep to activate yeah, you have to. You have to talk to him and he, it can send you multiple Anywhere. different places. Well, Anywhere. yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of dungeons that it can send you to. Oh. Okay, then. Oh. I was thinking uh, teleportation to different towns and... No, dungeons. No, no. no, no it, Only it, to dungeons. Well, it, they're very specific and very, like... They're uh, famously... They're famous dungeons. But the most... The, the one that it sends you to... Like, the one that most people want to go to is Under Mountain. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go to Undermountain. I don't know if there's gonna be much stuff under there because, you know, if a lot of people go there, who says that there's not, like, gonna be stuff left, you know? Mm -hmm. I knows? guess. Maybe it's just so dangerous, though, because well, everybody's, like, up in arms about it. That, that lady did say that people have gone in and not come out, so there might 
just being more stuff in there. That is true. Venus flytrap? <laughs> it's it's more of like a oh it's it's a wizard's domain, so <laughs> just because some people took a few things out doesn't mean that <laughs> he doesn't just put gone. he doesn't doesn't mean he doesn't just put more stuff in. <laughs> I mean, adventurers go in with magic items, die in there, and then there's more magic items in there. So boom. <laughs> Plus, there could be stuff for Arietti to, you know, scoop up and sell later on. Yes, that's something that we need to do. Right, Arietti? <laughs> Mabelly. Well, since we're all in such a hurry to... kill ourselves, where exactly shall we prepare said ritual? Um, if if you just ask Dern, he'll open the portal for you, and there's like yeah, a. Alaron, Alaron would state this. He he knows that Dernan's uh. <laughs> oh. He's he's got that. That he, he that has click, the plug. Click. He's he's got the he's got the thing. He he has he's, the power. He's been to around the play. block. He knows the way. Yeah. Well, then. I mean, for Christ's sake, he's immortal. Uh, we don't know that. He's, we, we don't know that. Old. We don't know he's that, but around the world. He's old. The man's been around for a while. He had a fortunate encounter in the dungeon we are seeking. Potions of youth? Question mark? Um, for all intents and purposes, um, it feel like, here, like, it's mostly stories that you hear around around the tavern. Like, you're not a hundred percent sure that they're true, but could be a they're, exaggeration. They're very, they're very well known stories. <laughs> I mean, he must have been alive for like four hundred years or something like that. Exaggeration. He's been around forever. Yeah, forever is a very long time to <laughs> not be able to die. Oh. Darts has his suspicions right now. Okay. Right, so yeah. There are many ways, darts, to live for extended periods of time without actually having to become what happened to you. Darts just like... Wait, what? We don't talk about it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean... We don't uh, talk about it. No, 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 no. Way. You don't understand, darts. I've been singing the tale. Everybody knows. I know, you but can't we don't get talk away about from it. this. <laughs> Everybody oh knows. You are the famous undead that turned into a saint. You're welcome. See, don't talk see about this. you're welcome. I told Enra that I would tell everybody. <laughs> How loud is Alarin being in this tavern? Totally loud. Like, How many he's like loud. looking down at the floor, <clears throat> blushing, and it's just flustered, and it's like, would you shut up? Get Absolutely breaks. flamboyantly loud. He, if anything, he's gotten worse in how loud and upfront he is <laughs> since Strahd. All right. So as Elrin kind of gets louder and draws more attention, Crystal's just going to be like trying to make oh, herself what? small and like I'm not Alarin, here. You're, I'm not here you're right now. The, the, the guests. <laughs> I don't know these the people. Bar people yell, the barkeep will yell at me if uh, I'm disturbing his people. No, 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 no. I don't care about uh, the people in the tavern. I care about Crystal right now. She, look at her. Okay, 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 okay. Zella has become more compact. Good to know. Well, I mean, she's like... A... I went from a neutral evil... I went, from, I went from neutral evil to neutral good, so... That's a big change. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Vera, as a uh, as Darts is like looking down and blushing and making himself try to be smaller, uh, Vera's gonna stand up and walk behind him and kind of ruffle his hair and be like, "It's okay, Darts. Like, it's nothing to be ashamed of." I was dead. <laughs> You're past that point in your 
Your... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is the Twimance con continuing? No. <laughs> Darts just, like, bolts over and punches him in the face. Like, Oh, oh yeah, that's here. fine. Aleron's just gonna try and dodge that. Oh, man. Alright, uh, Crystal goes from to... having her book on her lap to, like, in front of her hugging, head. hugging, no, no, no. We don't use books to block. <laughs> hugging it close to her chest. Zella is going to telepathically tell the boys to sit down and shut up. Uh, so right before he goes to swing, he puts his arm down and just, like, goes back over to his seat, sits down, and puts his hands in his lap, and it's just puffy. When did Zella become the mom? God. See, see at this point, at this well, point... You had to have a replacement Aaron... for Enra. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> at this point, at this Enron point, because Aleron's been in this city with so many people for for six months, uh, just just come to know that he he acts like a fucking. Everybody knows those little chihuahuas that bark louder than they actually do anything. Get the mental <laughs> image of Aleron as one of these chihuahuas, because that's that's how he feels right now. <laughs> he's he's basically composed a story, and he's having to compete with all the other bards in town for. That is true. That for is attention. For I, state and attention, basically. I would say that, of all the stories and songs that are played in the city of Waterdeep, the story of the adventuring party that destroyed Strahd is a very famous one. <laughs> Well, yes, but I'm still confused. There are other stories that are being told. Yeah, none like I mean, yours. You, there, there none like no mine. Others. None like mine. But. Okay, right. let's get going. This is my, right, right. This is my story. There are many like it, but this one but is this mine. this one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Bark, let's bark, bark. So you approach Dernan. Yep, we'll approach Dernan. And of course, he's heard all of this, so. Yeah, yeah, no, he's like... A Aleron's been he way kinda, too loud for anybody to not have heard. He, he just, as you kind of approach, he just waves his hand, and you see that these runes around the edge of the, the portal start to glow. Aleron's just going to wave his hand and just run at it. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Okay. What? Yep. <laughs> Alright. Off to a new story. Aloran, you you run at the uh, the yawning portal, and you fall down a hole. I knew it was happening. It's a hole in the floor. Yeah, no, you, you literally fall through a hole in the floor. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Zella sees this and like walks up to just before he fell. Mm-hmm. And like tries like. Is, is there an actual hole on the floor? Yep, there's an actual hole on the floor with a rope <clears throat> that goes down into darkness. Um, Aloran, you're going to take uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground 40 feet below. Hey, Crystal, <laughs> Crystal's going to laugh at you. Zella's just going to look down and be like, <clears throat> you good? There's like, you, you, you see this like poof of like, this uh, like, dust kind of like come floating up into the light of the tavern as uh, you hear it, Aloran's body thud against the ground. Yeah. Uh, Darts is gonna call down the hole as he's walking over and it's just like, Aloran! Can you hear me? <laughs> Yeah. No response. <laughs> <laughs> no response. <laughs> Aloran's oh my just... fucking gosh. All right, no, dead. sorry. I, I missed what you guys were saying. Uh, to no surprise <laughs> of anybody here, I was in the kitchen cooking food. Oh. Uh, uh, Zella uh, asked really? If you were idiot? Good. <laughs> Zella asked uh, if you were good, and uh, Darts was like, Aloran, can you hear me? Yeah, Aloran's just going to look up and, and say back, yeah, we're good. <laughs> and he's gonna stand up, and he's gonna dust himself off, and he's just gonna mutter to himself, Finally, I'm out of the public's eye. <laughs> Vera wants to try something. 
Okay. Um, can I... She could jump down on top of Valerie. Can I... No. Can I skip over to the hole and then I want to try something super kind of risky. I want to try an acrobatics and, like, jump down but grab the rope at, like, the last second. Uh, you can certainly try. Okay. Don't be a show off. <laughs> I'm always a show off. Too many people to impress. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen, Vera. That's we, nice. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the rope's only forty feet. If you miss. Um, Vera, you take fourteen points of bludgeoning damage as you <laughs> land face first on the ground. Oh. Okay. Aileron's just gonna look and be like, yep, oh my God. yep. Alright, Aileron's gonna help Veer out. <laughs> Thanks, I thought Bart that would go better. Bart's gonna do a face palm, and it's just like... Uh... I, was, I was waiting for that from somebody. I was waiting for the face palm. <laughs> Veer's brazen. She just went in there. She was like, I'm gonna try something cool. Oh wait, uh, never low, mind. Low key, while everybody's kind of messing around, uh, Aileron's gonna just low key healing word uh, uh, Vera's face. Okay, so you <laughs> said it's forty feet deep. Yeah. Vera, you get nine health. Back. And there's a there's a rope. Yep. Okay. Uh... Also, low key, I wasn't done in the kitchen. So we're back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's nothing oh low-key about you being in the fucking kitchen, Josh. Get your ass back in here, anyway. Alright. Every Yeti goes down the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I mean, is it just, like, a hole? Yeah, it's literally just a hole. It's a hole. We need people up here, don't go down. Curious. Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. I can't help it, the D&D makes me hungry. <laughs> Crystal oh. just goes and looks over the edge. Just get, make yourself food before D and D. You, you know, I attempted to and forgot. So. <sighs> it doesn't sound like an attempt. That sounds like a forget, a forgot. Oh, if yeah. I an attempt, okay. I got up and went to my kitchen. <laughs> all right. And then all I right. Came back to my desk anyways, anyways, Ari, right. Eddie went down the rope normal. Uh, Zella's gonna go in after her. <laughs> and Crystal's at the at the ledge. Yeah, Crystal's at the, uh, the edge of it and be like, Are you guys done? <laughs> like, Aileron's not going to dignify that with a response. We <laughs> do have a job. He's he's just going to, like, march a little ways down the hallway. Yeah. I'd like to not get yelled at again. <laughs> Out of clear now, sight of the hole. <laughs> you can blame it on me. It's Wait, fun. there's a hallway down there? We haven't, we haven't, we haven't described said thing yet. I'm waiting for everybody to decide how they're getting down. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look down the hole. Is, uh, is Vera at the, uh, still is, within the hole? Is this a hole of where the portal was? Yeah. No, this is the portal. Yep. Okay. Uh. In a way, yes. It, it, it's both a hole and a portal. It's like, hole. Weird. it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a door that opened and now it's leading you down beneath the, the tap. So, so it's a portal. Okay. So we uh, are supposed to use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. I was confused. confused. I thought it was a hole before on. the portal. Nope. Uh, All right. Well, I'm going to take the rope down. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to also take the rope down. Close behind. Hmm. Is, uh... Is Vera down... In the opening still... Like, in, where the, in the light of the opening? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, Dear friend Vera... Yes? <laughs> catch me! And I jump. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, can I um, um, do something? Wait, 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 wait. Are we still on the rope? One. Yeah. Dev jump. Yeah. How does that affect the rest of us? Uh, it well, he either misses you or hits you, and you all fall down. No. 
Like he can he can actively avoid hitting the people on the rope. Yeah, I'll actively avoid how hitting big, the people. Like how, he can. How... Well, it's a, it's like a twenty foot wide hole oh. in the floor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, can I try and do something cool as a reaction? No. Can I? I just want to catch him. I can catch him. I think. <laughs> I want to uh, try something. Is it a strength save? You. No, it's a, it, it'd be an athletics check at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> well, could I jump out and try and grab him as he's falling by? So that's gonna be twenty-one, um, and that's the disadvantage roll. Okay, so I need I need darts to make me a. Um, acrobatics check at disadvantage. Okay. okay. Uh, at disadvantage? Yes. Uh, that will be 22. Please. I have a nat 20 and a 17. <laughs> I'm so, so glad my who, dice are not who, first. Who all went down before darts? I know Arietta. Uh, Arietta. It went Arietta, Zenzella, Crystal. Okay. Um, everyone who hasn't taken damage from falling yet is going to take... 11 points of damage from falling as you all hit the ground as darts breaks the rope. How did I break the rope? <clears throat> you literally broke it because you had the rope in your hands. And, and then I jump off the wall and try and catch them. But you were on a wall. <laughs> the rope is literally suspended. Like it, it hangs from the portal and it drops down. <laughs> like they're, they're, you're not, it's not like you're not, uh, Doing you're the climbing. You're not repelling down a yeah, wall. Yeah, you're not repelling down a wall. You're literally going down a rope. Like you, you were. The rope is. Fireman pull. You basically shook the rope so hard that everybody fell off of it as you jumped off to try what? and get. What to... is going to smack darts upside the head? <laughs> Eleven points. Yep. Yeah. Ow. All right, you guys still land. Fine. Ish. But Zelda does not have that many hit points. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just so, so uh, Zelda's gonna smack darts upside the head and then heal everyone but darts. <laughs> um, did I end up catching uh, catching Zeb? Zeb. <laughs> Um, I'm going to. Who all got hurt? Uh, Arietti, myself, Crystal. Everyone got hurt. <laughs> well, I'm only doing three cure wounds, so. It's okay. Yeah, can, Aller and uh... healing, healing worded uh, Vera, so you're good at that. Yeah. I can, okay. I can heal myself. I'm good. Did uh, Did Vera actually catch me or no? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, no. Because Darts is a jackass. Gotcha. I was right. trying to do something nice, okay? So, so you on tried the to, ground. You tried to mid air tackle somebody for no reason. I was trying to break his fall because he was falling. So, you would you so, would They said catch me. I didn't know who it was directed at. He was talking he to said Vera. Vera. catch me. <laughs> okay, so, so Arietti get 10 back. Um. Crystal, you'll get eight back, and I will get seven back. <laughs> I as well got seven back. Okay, then uh, while I'm on the floor, so, I'll I'll look to I'll look to Vera and be like, "Nice catch." <laughs> Sorry, and Vera's gonna um, try and pick you up off the floor and lay on hands for ten points back. Carries out. 
We're not even in the actual dungeon yet, and we're getting hurt. <laughs> it's your fault. You should have just left. Your fault. Okay, but that's what dart would uh, darts would do. Like protect the innocence. He was doing something dumb, so he tried to help. <laughs> chaotic, chaotic, stupid. <laughs> you get ten hit points back. Okay. Um, as you all <clears throat> land on the floor. Um, the portal above closes, and you're jettisoned into darkness. Um, oh uh, turn the light um, on. I will do the cantrip light on my staff. Aileron's gonna do dancing lights. I'm also going to use a cantrip on my greatsword. Uh, I'm going to use Celestial Burst to target an object, and instead of it taking damage, it emits light, bright light, for 30 feet. Ziv will be suddenly flashbang because he has dark vision, and he was used to the dark, and then all of a sudden <laughs> there's light. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit kind of the same here. Like... Yeah. I mean, Darts has dark vision too, but like... Is there anyone some, here that some of us can't see in the dark. <laughs> okay. Can't or I... <laughs> see mm. this is this is why this is why Alaran cast dancing lights because that's only dim light. Hmm. Well we have dim and bright light, and your dancing lights have hundred and twenty feet, so you send them ahead. <laughs> okay, calm down. Um alright. So, you guys, as the portal above you closes, you're standing in a 40 foot square room. So it's 40 feet by 40 feet. There's a light dusting of, of sand on the floor. Um, you can see a single exit that is, um, that leads south. Um, along the walls, you see dented and rusty shields, which are you know, just like scrawls of like graffiti on them. Some of it in common, some of it in elvish. You know, it, it's a it's a mixture. Um, Can our scholar uh, read what it says? I mean, I could read what it says too. <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of us can read Elvish or Common. Yeah. It, it, they're... Well, I'm sorry, Darts didn't take his time to learn a new fucking language. <laughs> what are you they're talking darts, about? Darts, Alaran. Alaran didn't take his time to learn a new fucking language. Yeah, I thought so. Don't sorry. diss Darts sorry. like that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, Crystal just goes... <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's a load of, uh, um... Gratuitous profanity. Darts is just gonna be like, it's nothing important. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's pretty, uh. It's pretty, um. Less than savory. <laughs> He's just gonna whisper, who uses language like this? <laughs> um. Yeah, you what can. Language it's it's in common and and Elvish. Mm. Zev will read it out loud. Uh, um, it's Zella not for it's not for, for <laughs> it's not for the ears of children. What's written on some in some of these Elvish words? Um, oh, oh, oh. Zella, <laughs> if, if Zev reads it out loud, Zella is just gonna look at him with like. But not disgust, but just like shock. How how could you speak like that? <laughs> Darts is just gonna be like would expect nothing less. Okay. Uh, hey guys. Wrote Quite rude. I wonder who did it. Um. Do you really want to meet them? Well, I like to meet everybody. Who knows, Zev? They're all probably dead. Oh dear, what a terrible fate. 
What's everybody's passive perception? That's a good question. Uh, oh, 13. It is a 22. 13. I no longer have super observant <clears throat> ears. <laughs> Alright, Alar and Alm, um, you do hear... You're not quite sure where it comes from, but you do hear uh, the soft sound of footfalls retreating. Like, they're moving away Soft in the sense of, like, humanoid? Can I understand the pattern of the feet falling? But Is it... They sound... It, it sounds like human footfalls. Just a lot of feet falls? No, just, just one set. Hmm. They're just very soft and... They're they're moving away from you at a at a quick pace. We may not actually be alone down here. Darth is gonna put well, out their This light. place is owned by somebody. <laughs> as soon as uh, like uh, they mention that they might not be alone, uh, the light disappears from their blade. Okay. I still have my light. <laughs> Me too. It's dim, but it's in a 40 foot radius with all my lights together. Yeah. Well, spread out. Okay. I get I get four lights. Yep. And they can yeah, like, mine's... they can chain up to 120 feet away. Yeah, I, I can yeah. go up to 120 feet. Okay. Mine's bright for 20 and dim for an additional 20. Yep. Okay. So you guys exploring mm. more of the room, or...? Yeah, yeah. Alaron's gonna yeah. look around. I mean, as aside from the, uh... Written, I'd like... Written cuss words on the wall, he, uh... Thinks there might be something in this room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Darth would also like to investigate, uh, around I mean, the walls. There, there's gotta be a reason why everybody wrote fucking cuss slang on the wall. <laughs> Here is going to look for what's next, like. Okay. All right. Um, Darts and Alarin, give me investigation checks. Uh, Vera, you can find like getting to the the hall that leads to the south from where you are currently is it, pretty easily. Ooh, fuck that. Uh, nine. <laughs> Seventeen. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I can see your rolls now. Um. If you're, oh, if, can if, you? if you're rolling in D and D Beyond, I can see your rolls. Oh, yep. yeah, that's pretty yeah. Sweet. If you're in oh, the game, everyone can see it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Uh. Darts, you. You're kind of moving around the walls, and you accidentally touch, like you put like a little bit of uh, a little bit more force than uh, like your uh, your normal, like you're just kind of like pressing against one of the shields, and it it actually like the straps that hold it to the wall. So it's like you know how a shield is like strapped to yeah. your arm, like the straps actually break and the shield falls off. And written in Elvish behind this shield, it says, Beyond the Pillar Forest, the Mad Mage awaits, casting spells behind magic gates. Okay, uh, Darts will take a mental note of that and share it with the group. Uh, and repeat what it said. Uh, this odd writing tells of the Mad Mage being past the pillars of some sort of it's kind of cryptic A little bit. he kind of puts his head to the side and it's just like it rhymes <laughs> calls over Alarin. Can can you read this out and see what you make of it I 
I mean, Aleron will read it out, but <laughs> me personally, I wasn't paying too close of an attention to what it said, because fucking writing, and I hadn't gotten my piece of paper. Out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a mental note of it for later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All it says is beyond the pillar forest, the mad mage awaits, casting spells behind magic gates. Um. Behind magic gates. Vera, you find a hallway leading about 50 feet south, and then making a... You have, you have dark vision, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then it makes a right-hand corner. Well, if this see. is all we found, uh, I suggest we move on. Hey, Vera, have you found a new place to go? Yeah, straight this way. Oh, okay. And Veer kind of points to where the hallway is. Darts is gonna slowly move along across this hallway. Uh, Zella's going to be somewhere close-ish to the front. As well as Darts would. Vera would like to lead the way. I will follow closely behind Vera. I will be closely behind Darts. I don't want too many people getting beat up, so I want to take a front lead. How wide is this path that we're going down? <coughs> don't die on us. <coughs> no, don't worry, it's just simply newness. Uh, would you like me to cast Lesser Restoration? <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, so who's after Brandon, Zella? I, I meant to ask, how wide is this hall? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Um, It's ten feet. So two people could walk side by side. Uh, I think I would be on the other side of Vera, uh, being able to look ahead. Yeah, put the two tanky people next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can Go block the Vera. way. I'm skinny. I'm not tanky. I'm skinny. Vera. You I can't have more me. health than half the party, so... so I'm Zola skinny. Zola be behind Vera. <laughs> yeah, Zella was going to be behind Vera. Okay. So, where's Alarin, then? Alarin will stand next to, uh, Crystal. Okay. Yep, somewhere Crystal's gonna be at the, at the rear. Some, okay. Somewhere close to the back. Alright. Arietti wanted to be in the right. back, too. Okay. Arietti being the tankiest of the party. <laughs> Uh, They're so scared of being hit that they lead towards the back. <laughs> it's okay. It's good to have a tank in the back, too. And we'll put Zev somewhere in the middle of the group. Well, I'll be next to Zella. Okay. Alright. I have the reach to go past uh, my compa companion, so it'll yeah. work. Okay. So, uh, that's kind of roughly how we have everything. Roughly how the group is uh, arranged going down these hallways. I'm assuming we're spaced out, like, technically five feet apart, so we're not, like... Yeah, well, each square on the... on into each other. Yeah, like, obviously each square on the grid is five feet. Oh, good. But minis take up a lot of space. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so... They look really good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so... You travel about 50 feet south, um, where you come to uh, an L that leads to the right um, at another 50 feet. Um, Could I be actively looking out for traps? Oh, sure. Then give me a perception check. Perception. Zell also like to be looking um, for, you know, uh, the same thing. Uh, 24. 18 plus 6, 24, correct? I, I, yep. I'm not too good at math. 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, you don't seem to notice any traps. What is Ella looking for? She was just going to be doing the same thing. Okay. Do you want me to pull? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, obviously, Aloran's going to take notice of pretty much everything. Because new place, new story. It's pretty nondescript standard walls. Got a 17. Yep. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to um, make this game log bigger. Uh, uh, you can, actually. Uh, you can uh, press... So if you scroll all the way up, you can see the campaign and then press the red uh, little... No, no, no. I, I can pop it out, but I can't resize it. It just well... aligns to the right and it aligns to the left. Oh, I can unlock it. Does that mean that... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh. um, okay. Yeah, you guys travel down this, this hallway for another roughly 50 Sad. feet. I really make it bigger. Um, you come to another L where it leads into a... Um, 20 foot wide hall... Um, where you can see so the room is you you go around this corner this this uh second corner and you come into this uh much wider hall that is about 20 feet wide and stretches out uh roughly 70 feet um i'm assuming alaran kind of puts his dancing lights kind of out in a, a yeah party. out and Ahead of us a ways, so we can actually see what we're coming up to. Even even just a little bit. Um, at the end of this hall... Crystal's, Crystal's got the light next to us covered, so yes. Aaron's just going to make sure his lights are up front. The hallway's 10 feet wide, so he's just going to put them pretty much uh, spaced out 10 feet apart, 40 feet in front. So that they constantly are in front and moving forward, so we're never, we're never in the dark coming up on what we're coming up on. Yeah. Um, Provided he can see where they're going, because mm -hmm. I think he has to see where they're going. Well, obviously, you, like you move them incrementally. Um, yeah. About seventy feet ahead of you, you see a uh, decline down some stairs leading into a another room. That is a little bit hard because it's well below where you are. Um. Yeah, um, along, so in this hall that you're in, um, but every 10 feet there's little uh, recesses um, um, and they're about 9 feet tall, 4 feet wide, and each, each of these recesses um, contains a relief that depicts a different kind of demon. So, demon, you say. Yeah. Would I recognize any of them? Yeah. Can I do a religion check? <laughs> as well as I? Actually, I would say that Crystal could probably name them all for you. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. As part of her research in the uh, font of knowledge, so uh, did you say devil, devils or demons? They're demons. Okay. Um, Still know some, but not all. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So the north wall. So you guys walked in and along the north wall, from, from the east, which is where you came in. Trying to, yeah, where you come in to the west, um, some like there is uh, a Baylor, a, a, a Barl Gura, a Chasme, a Dretch, Dretch, a eh, Galabrazu, Garistro, and Hezru. So those are all like along the northern wall. Can, can, you, can, you, can you throw those out again, please? Oh Baylor, my god. Balgura. I, just for you, Josh, I will, after the session, I'll put them in the, the session notes, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so you have them. 
Um, Honest to God, if they didn't seem like marginally important things, I wouldn't even care. No, it's fun. <laughs> On the south wall from west to east, so the going the opposite direction, um, is a Merolith, uh, Nalfeshni, Quasit, Shadow Demon, a Vrock, and a Yak Yol. Yak Lol. Um, so there, there's all these like recesses that depict all these different demons, um, and they're they're you know they're reliefs. They're like they're not like statues. They're they're like I don't, they're like wall carvings basically. Um, so they and, don't look like standalone objects. They look like part of the wall. Yeah, no, they're just like it's slightly recessed and is like carved into wall, kind of like you would see like them doing like a. a a tomb, you know, like uh, like an like if you were to go to like an uh, an older like church over in Europe, like sometimes in the tombs or even in the church itself, they would have like carved little recesses that mm -hmm. um for the background. Um, there is one standout thing. Uh, you do see a Kenku skeleton lying on the floor with one of its arms like outstretched and like pointing at the the relief of the um the Nalfeshni. Okay. Okay. Um Darts will speak up and uh say I think we should be wary about this room. Be on Vera. your guard. Veer kind of looks at him. You think? Zola, uh, like, half, half snort chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> so, can, how long would this take? How long would what take? Uh, to ritually cast detect magic. I believe it's an hour, so I'm not gonna sit here for an hour to do that. Um, I think to, I think uh, detect magic is ten minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're probably right. I can cast detect magic as an action. Well, uh, I'm, I'm pretty. Well, as a spell slot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, d I don't want to use a spell slot though. That's. The uh, yeah, thing. I think that I think that's what darts is. Go yeah, it's um. Um. Yeah, it would take ten minutes to cast it as a ritual. Uh, so I'm gonna tell the rest of the group. Can you give me ten minutes before we t go on? I'm gonna pass something to maybe help us out with detecting magical auras. Uh, so yeah, darts will start ritual casting detect magic. Okay. What is everybody else doing doing during this time? This hallway's only ten feet wide, right? This one's 20. Reliefs, 20. Yeah. The the reliefs are inset into the wall, basically. Alright, well. You know what? Let, let get Mage Armor going. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. He's gonna play a ditty. Just cause. He's gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna Warm up his fingers, limber him up. Okay. Get him going on his lyre. Um, so everybody not casting a spell, like ritually casting a spell. Um, I would say, why don't everyone but Elrin and um, Darts give me a uh, perception check?
Ooh. <laughs> those, are, those are some epic rolls we got going on here, Ooh. guys. Okay, Wait, okay. What? Oh, okay, okay. That's better. That's better. <laughs> okay. I mean... Bella's was pretty poor. <laughs> Zella and me, like, we both scrolled very poor. Uh, Zella's prior one was okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. Not this, no. Um. Crystal's roll was bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, oh, there we go. Geez, geez, that's so funny. That's nice pretty job. good. <laughs> you, all, you all see as, like, um... The feline instincts kicked in. <laughs> Zev, you hear it. Crystal, you hear it. But the the first indicator that something's going on, um, you, you all see as Ariadne's ears just like perk up, and her head kind of Aww. like <laughs> shoots towards down the stairwell. As um, you can make out that there are some heavy footfalls running. Um. Where did they go? This. Not towards you. Not towards us? He heavy footfalls running away from us? Yeah, they, they seem to be moving south from your from the location ahead of you. Okay. Oh, okay, so they're running from something. I don't think hmm. that's any better. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either, but I'm ritual casting, so don't mind me. Upon noticing this, uh, and thinking, you know, this is probably a good time for a bit more of appeal and action, I will simply just say my activation word of brandish. Okay. Yeah, you all see as, um, Zev's staff turns from staff to... And now you see this blade just kind of fold out of it and just has, now has this large uh, metal blade that looks rather intimidating. <laughs> Is it a snake? Uh, Zella, seeing that her, she's just gonna like pet her snake that is coiled, like draped across her shoulders. No, it, it's a it's a glaive, but it's just okay. Yeah. Um, Vera would like to um, be ready to cast Branding Smite. Okay. Well, like I said, it seems as though they're going away from you, so... <laughs> well, what if they make a U-turn, you know? <laughs> okay. So you guys are just kind of preparing. Um, Dart, your cast finishes. Um, you detect... Uh, in the distance down the stairs, you can detect a slight... Um, magic um it seems more like, of a looking towards where the skeleton was pointing you don't te you don't detect any magic no okay no <laughs> there uh seems to be a faint aura of magic on the skeleton itself oh but uh with detect magic i would know its property there it really it it's um it, it's kind of almost like a uh leftover well not so much a leftover <laughs> as it is like it, it's hard to explain the type of magic it it's necromancy well it's it's kind of an enchantment like okay like it the skeleton wouldn't be holding its arm out like that <laughs> If it wasn't, it didn't have some kind of magic put on it. Yeah, but the magic well, is to hold it in place. Okay, well, like, uh, Dark with the will arm note it. Like, note it, put it in his head, put it in the back of his head, save it for later. <laughs> He's uh, gonna start walking a little quickly uh, towards the stairs. Okay. Yeah, you can walk down the stairs. You walk into a room... Um, let's see. You walk into a room. Um, uh, full of pillars. <laughs> um, oh my god, where is it? What the hell? 
Yeah, there's a room with uh, several pillars. Um, on the northernmost pillar, there is a the skeleton of a giant uh, constrictor snake that coils up the top half of, of it. Um, and you can see you can see where uh, a couple of large creatures had recently been kind of camped out um, near two of the pillars. Okay. But they seem to have uh, moved on. Faint magic. Where would I see it in this room? Can I have a look around? Sure. Uh, just glancing around the room, would I be able to detect the magic dwelling here? Um, you just get a faint aura of a, uh... Not so, like... Charm effect, but there, there seems to have been some kind of, uh... Again, enchantment style magic recently in the area, but it seems to have moved on. Uh, darts will, I guess, continue moving through, not paying much attention, not sensing uh, magic in this room. Uh, we'll okay. just like start so, going a little faster. So they're trying to chase the scent of this magical residue. Um, so the room you're in, uh, you came down the stairs from the large hallway which the boss relieves. Um, you're now in a room that has three exits. Um, each going, you have to go up a set of stairs. Um, there's north, south, and west are the, the three directions you can go. Uh, I guess I'll consult with the group. Which way do we want to go? I have a faint sense of magic that was here, but it seems to have moved on, and I'm in need of help choosing a path. Hmm. Ziv will take a big sniff of the air and sniffing both the both directions. Which one has the least amount of smell? Um, the southern one would have the most. Uh, the um. So, but the north and the western exits seem to not have much. Right. Smell After anything? The... Well, there was once a great and wise bird that I knew. And he said to follow your nose, and I say we go down the south. Alright. Follow your nose. Well, Aaron's uh, not, Aaron's not gonna argue with that. Huh. It's a rather I mean, strange way to choose a direction, but okay. I will trust it for it's now. Not that strange. Animals do it all the time. It's strange for Vera. I mean... Crystal puts her hands up. <laughs> like... Wait, I don't know what I to tell you. I to take care of boys. What? Uh, what's one? <laughs> We're running headlong into danger. <laughs> We're doing it. We're getting on our way. Is it for real? Like Fork in the road. D danger. The door danger. So <laughs> I would rather go to the south and try and pick up the magical aura again. And well, try and see by if the, it's... By this time, your detect magic has faded. Has no! Kinds... My ten minutes! Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, 
So you guys are heading south? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sure. It's as good a place to go as any. Alright, so you guys charge headlong down the southern hallway. Why are we charging? Who said we're charging? Yeah. Who said we're Vira, charging? Vera's not, not charging, but Vera's going head first in. Like, she's brazen about this. She's like, okay, the south, let's go. <laughs> Zella is contemplating casting invisibility on three people. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, thank you for reminding me. Speaking of invisibility, uh, is this area relatively not well lit or dark? Yeah. No, the, the okay. whole, I mean, the whole without, you... without the light that you all are generating, there is no light. Like, okay, yeah. then uh, can I take an action to simply become invisible? Sure. Neat. Um, okay, cool. In that case... um. That also mean that you have to stay away from Crystal, who is generating bright light. Yes, yeah. I'll be. I am very in tiny. <laughs> well, if that's the case, who wants to be invisible? <laughs> uh, guards will opt to be invisible. I can the, the cast invisibility in myself. So the run in, one in front tanking is gonna be invisible. Okay. Yes. I'd rather so, be in front being able to block attacks. One more person invisible. invisible. Or none. No more. Did your your choice. Where is that from? Uh so Vera, are you going to be invisible? Yeah, oh, I'm casting my own invisibility. Okay, okay. Okay, well, uh yeah, Zella is gonna be invisible. Darts, um, and she'll cast invisibility on Arietti. Yeah. Okay. okay. Those are the three targets. So literally, almost the entire group is invisible at this point, walking down a hallway. Uh, um, who, who all is invisible probably... and who's not invisible? The the only two that are not invisible are Crystal and Alaren. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. I think uh, Darth would probably tell them to keep on going down the hallway. Um. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Darth is actually going to try and be ahead of the group and try and scout out further uh, into the passage. Okay. All right. <laughs> So it is a Where did my other base go? It is a hundred and ten foot long hallway leading to an L turn like a, a an L an L that goes west. Which is a um And I don't notice anything off? Nope. You uh, reach the 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 turn. Um, you got 30 feet, and there's another turn that leads south, and that leads to a um, a small tu uh, the so it, it would have normally dead ended at this point, but someone has seemed to carve a tunnel, a much narrower tunnel, um, that leads. Um, Uh, you can you actually find a dead goblin. Oh, okay. Uh, laying on the ground near like uh, a few pick pickaxes and shovels uh, that are lying atop of, and this is all like piled near a, a pile of rubble. Um, um, and then there's like a, a five foot way wide, five foot high um tunnel mouth. Could I make a perception check to see if I hear anything within the tunnel? Go for it. Please don't be trashed. 24. Okay. Um. You don't seem to hear anything. Um. Out of the ordinary. 
for a tunnel in a dungeon. Uh, so nothing in the tunnel. Uh, I, I would probably tell the party, uh, let's go... So the tunnel is to the left, correct? It's, it's south. So it's leading south. Okay, so I want to go through the other way. Like, if it's a... You're at a dead end. Oh, is it really out of just a dead end? Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess we have to go through the tunnel. Well, we could go back the way we came. Yeah, you don't have to. There, there. It's not a requirement to go through the tunnel. I mean, <laughs> I don't hear anything, so yeah, we we could turn around. Uh, sure, I'd but then all the squishy guys are in front. We can no, always that? rearrange. <laughs> there, there's rearrange. enough space to move around. This is like that, and one of the least squishy people is also in the currently in the back, so... That yeah. is true. <laughs> the, the, the squishiest, well, the least HPs of the people is in the middle. <laughs> right where they should be. But, but that person also has the highest AC, so... <laughs> what, is, what is the AC? Wait. I have yeah. a 20 AC and 66 hit points. How do you have a 20 AC? Jesus! Plus one breastplate, oh plus one shield. Jesus! Okay, okay. Then. I thought my 18 armor class was nice. Skellerin's still rocking a 16. I have 16 with mage armor. <laughs> how is he not dead? How, how long does mage armor last? Eight hours. Okay, okay. The ability That's is one hour. hour. Whatever you say, so Brandon, it's up. This has been maybe like 20 minutes. You guys just kind of moved okay. down the hallway without too much of an issue. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I'd probably turn around right away. Okay. Start heading back and tell them yeah. to it's come prob back. Probably a better idea to go the other way. <laughs> mm -hmm. It may stink down here, but uh, nothing of importance. Um, Zev, you you get the you get the sense that you may have smelt the the rotting goblin corpse. Hmm. <laughs> to confirm this, I don't know. Can anybody even see me? Because I'm currently in the dark. I um, mean, you're currently invisible. Well, it's 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 relative invisibility. <laughs> it's more like um. I don't it, yeah, it's more like a, a shadow meld kind of thing where if you're not directly looking at him, you won't notice him. But if you were to stare directly at him, you could probably see him. Um, you could just see him blink while he's on the wall like a chameleon. <clears throat> um, yeah, you're you're technically still until until like the light moves past you, you're you're technically still invisible. Yeah. Neat. Alright, then I'll simply go over to the goblin and give it a sniff to make sure that was what I was smelling. Yeah, it was definitely what you were smelling. And it's a lot... it's overly potent. <laughs> <laughs> is there any um, way to check and see how long the goblin's been dead and what the cause of death is? Uh, you can give me a medicine check. I will tell you the cause of death. It's... Sh it's uh, skull was caved in. Uh, okay. Uh, so I will do the same. But yes. 17 on the medicine check. Okay. And 17 and 15. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> um. Oh my god, I'm so happy I bought that dice pack. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So it actually shows up? No, no, my dice rolls, and then when the dice roll is done, and it calculates it, and it puts it in the log, the dice, like, expands, and then implodes on itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, it, 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 it's relatively fresh. It's not, it may be a couple days old. Um, oh, so nothing that's like immediately going to threaten us in some way. Yeah. I don't want my skull caved in, man. <laughs> um, Ellen and Crystal are still visible. Yeah, I want you all to make me perception checks. Every single one of you. 
No. Nat 20. <laughs> Nat 20 as well. Oh 31. <laughs> 26. Five. Oh. <laughs> 25. <laughs> A modest 13. God. <laughs> Two twenty-fives, twenty-six, thirty-one, and thirteen and five. <laughs> Give me one Natural second. Natural twenty. Oh god, is the zombie gonna reanimate? Oh god, wait, wait. Nothing escapes Aleron's gaze. <laughs> or darts is <clears throat> hearing. I don't know. And darts is invisible. He has no eyes. You can't see him. He can't well, see. He's I, totally blind. I can't see you. You can't see me. Yeah, exactly. That's not how that works. It is right now. I am blind. I can't see Zella. Where did Zella go? No, Zella's invisible. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> That's the joke. Where did I go? Looking at his hands. Like. If you're invisible, you can't see yourself. No, I'm pretty sure you can see yourself. <laughs> Imagine. It's really weird. You just look How... at, down at your hands and you're just like gone and you're just like, wait, am I a ghost? <laughs> How would you make any attacks or anything or like grab your weapon or anything if you're invisible and you can't see yourself? Mm. That's I... why you have to be a magic you user practice. so you can have weapons. You've practiced with your stuff for a very long time. <laughs> yes. All right. That. As you guys move back down the hall, leading back to the uh, mostly circular room that you had previously been in where the pillars were, um, this large metal and wood creature begins traveling down the hall towards you. How and far away is it? It's, where did that thing come from? It's probably about, um, about 60 feet away currently. Um, And it stops, looks at the group, and then raises its arms and starts. Um, Crystal, you would you would recognize someone like something going to cast a spell, but nothing comes out of it. <laughs> As it kind of oh, moves its hey. fingers around and. Kind of makes the motions to cast a spell, but nothing actually happens. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> it does block the hall, though. Is it real? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you could hear the sounds of it moving, so it, it seems to be real. Does it sound like clockwork? Uh, it doesn't sound like clockwork. No. It blocks the entirety of the hall. Yeah, it's it, it takes up the space that you would have like you'd have to travel through its space to get out. So I started blasting. So you said it's it made out of out if you blasting. What, so what what, what is it made out of? Uh, it's metal and wood. Okay, I'm gonna use chill touch on it. I want to cast Chill Touch. Just gonna attack the first thing we see. <laughs> right. I I mean, it. It's doing weird things at me, okay? Okay. Um. Uh, Aileron's gonna take a reactionary stance to this and just kind of wait to see what happens when Darts prematurely attacks this thing that is actually I'm, attacking us. I'm the, so you and see the just, spectral just, hand come up behind it and try to like choke it from behind. Okay, that's what Chill Touch does. Okay, totally. Give me. And, and Dark becomes uh, visible again. Yep. Yep. Um. Okay. Give me a tech roll. Uh. Does a. Oh God, that's not gonna hit twelve. Uh. Yeah. No. The hand passes. Um. Beyond the creature. You could tell that. Nope. That's not how that oh. works. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna roll initiative. Oh, God bless it. Can I sneak up to it for- Can you- 
Well, you... technically everybody's invisible except yeah. for Crystal, Aller, and Darts. So you could do whatever you want. Yes, you, you Arietti, if your you, turn. If, you, if you'd like to, while Darts is making this, if you'd like to move up to it, you can. You have the speed for it. Okay. Arietti definitely has the speed for that. <laughs> Rolls are camera shy because now we can all see each other's initiative rolls and we're not doing so good. Yeah, um, oh Jesus Christ! Okay, you know, this oh actually my. helps me because I can just look at what you guys rolled. I don't have to make you guys, <laughs> um, <laughs> are you uh, initiative roll? Yeah, Arietti is. <laughs> Arietti is broken. She has a plus 11. <laughs> yeah. Casual 31. Oh. Casual 31 initiative, yeah. I can't even write, like, Arietti is beyond the chart that I made for initiative rolls. Um, so basically, Arietti is just first. That's it. First. <laughs> um, let's see, who did I get? I need... Oh my god. My easily 13 initiative. Zella. Who did I miss? Um, Aloran. I got a 12. Who am I? Oh, I'm missing Vera. That's who I'm missing. You know. <laughs> I got I got really comf like I got really used to the fact that during Curse of Strahd you guys all rolled at least twenty. <laughs> and now it's like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Something happened. Oh, what was the roll on the on the enemy? Oh, I'm not You're not done yet? I'm not telling you. It's at least twenty. <clears throat> That's basically what he's telling us. I think it's thirty two. <laughs> what? See, I will try. It, it just has to be above 12 for me to not care. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Arietti, you're first. What you... Okay. She had to go AFK for a second. Boys are needy. Yeah. Maybe my dice are just being mean to me on D&D Beyond. Uh, look, I rolled a 14 there. <laughs> and that's a 20! Okay, my D&D Beyond dice are broken. It's a casual table there. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. No, 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 I'm talking to Lexi. Lexi, I'll be right back! Sure. No bearing on D&D. &D. Oh, apparently I'm starting. Casually. 25 ferns. Oh my god, stop playing eco while we're doing this. Alright, Arietti, what are you doing? Okay. Visibility goes away. Hey. Oh wow, nat one. Oh no, <laughs> nat twenty and a nat one. Gotta balance the scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see, Arya kind of. Nat one like... automatically hits. <laughs> uh, no, loses. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> you see, Arya, you like. Hey, are you changing the rules? <laughs> you see, Arya, you like lash out with her rapier, and it kind of just like. Skims the surface of this creature. What I'm doing? What? Critical fail. When in doubt, fail it out. I can't fucking hear. Um. Okay. So next up, uh, Zoa. What's yeah? You'd go next. Okay. Hold. Hold. I will cast. Uh, Witch Bolt. Okay. That's a spell. At second level. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. A second level. That hits. Oh, Jesus. My invisibility oh, goes down. I'm concentrating on Witch Bolt now. Okay. So anybody that was invisible <laughs> due to her is gone. Invisible uh, because of Zella. Um, three, oh, yeah. a whole three damage. Oh wait, <laughs> a whole three damage. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Worse rolls and even worse rolls. Okay. You see, you see, as the this creature is just wreathed in this like, uh, kind of ring of uh electric energy. Um, hey, I mean, at least you get to repeat the damage. Alright. Um, next up, uh, our Yeti is going to get punched as this thing raises its fist to attack her. Punch. Falcon punch? That is a 13, which misses, and second one is a 12 that misses. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Okay. Double miss. Yep. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Zev. Meow. Okay. Uh, let's see. How far away is you to me, specifically? Um... Oh, uh, that would be about 60 feet-ish. Okay. Then I shall move half of it with my movement speed. So you get to just in front of darts here. Hmm. Which... Yeah, it takes a little bit. Yeah, because you moved into the light. Yes. <laughs> that is fine, I don't mind. And let's see, seeing as I can't really do anything of substantial value right now, I will simply uh, use my Hexblade's curse against the creature. Okay. And then I shall cast Eldritch Blast. Oh, we he have did, a warlock! He, he did the thing! He did the thing! I did the thing. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and make Why your attack roll. Are you freaking about doing the thing? He's a warlock that killed cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> you well, did the I did not hit. I didn't hit. <laughs> you you uh, have your level, level are you? What Okay, hold on. You're level eight, so you have two. So you can you can roll a second one. I can? Yeah, yeah that's how Eldritch Blast works. Oh yeah, I forgot, you I can roll level... two. First level, and then you get two at level five, and three at level 11. Yeah, they both both blast kind of ear just slightly past the the edges of this creature. Done. All right. Well, at least I got my curse off on him. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. All right, darts, you're up. I want to roll to hit him. Uh, I want to use a... I'm going to use Seeing... a first level guiding bolt. Seeing as this is a construct, would it be classified as a him? It. It. A them? It's a, it's a thing, but <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't have a gender classification or any of that. Like, it is literally the metal just a monstrosity. Literally just so a thing. Uh, yeah, that hits. Radiant damage. Let's go. Uh, that will be 10 points of radiant damage, and the next attack roll on it has advantage. Okay. And as a... Uh, can I spend my movement? Yeah. To get up to the creature. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, and I'd like to strike it with my greatsword as a bonus action. 
How are you doing that as a bonus action? War priest. When you take the attack action, you can make one weapon attack yeah, as a bonus didn't... action. You cast a spell. It's an attack action. No, it's not. No, it's a spell. Spell oh. action and attack action are two separate things. Oh, Other no. otherwise okay. otherwise you could cast basically unlimited spells. <laughs> um. Uh, it's a separate action. Let me look at my bonus actions then. Uh, I can bonus action unarmed strike. If you have a free hand, but if you have your. Which I don't. And you also have to take uh, the attack action with that. Yeah. Uh, let me look at my channel divinity real quick and see if I have anything. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I'm good. That's the end of my turn. All right, Alarin, you're up. All right. Well, seeing as this thing appears to be a construct of some variety, uh, and it is, it is a thing. Uh. <clears throat> Aileron is going to point behind the target so that it is not targeting <laughs> his friends. He's going to use a, uh, a fourth level shatter on this thing. Okay. And I have disadvantage on the saving throw, right? Disadvantage on con save. You have to beat a con 17. Yeah, no. That's a 7. Full damage! Let's go! <laughs> my dice are literally stuck in the corner of my screen for this roll. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. There's some damage. Alright. I never get tired of those dice sucking into the void! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I have the... I have the uh ones for getting a subscription this month that like I grab I grab the mythic ones. Um, I, just, I wanted more than the basic ones. I have the cauldron <laughs> set. Yeah. Alright. Um pretty. why did you accidentally roll initiative dice? What? I wanted to roll uh D twenty to see the cauldron set dice. Alright. Um is that it for uh, you, Alarin? Uh bonus action I am going to give uh, Bardic Inspiration to Crystal, because why not? All right. I gotta, I gotta pull my weight somehow, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Crystal has Bardic Inspiration. All right. I blush. <laughs> All right. Uh, Vera, you're up. One d four blush damage. That's just rude. Uh, uh... <clears throat> Branding smite on my weapon. Branding smite? Yes. Okay, so that breaks your invisibility. Mm-hmm. Okay. And can I get to where I could swing at him? Nope. Okay. <laughs> your allies are blocking the corridor. Yeah. I really don't know what I can do. What is this? What is what? I have things in my character sheet that I didn't realize that I had in there. Mm hmm. And I'm guessing you added them. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Me do something sneaky? That would never happen. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I well, can do. I mean, do. that's a valid response. <laughs> uh, I don't you, know. You can hold your action. <laughs> I, oh, you gonna go hit it? 
Yeah, she can't. I can't. No. I have no ranged attacks. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. It's almost. You don't even have a cantrip. It, no, Wait, it's a paladin. I'm a paladin. Oh, I'm a paladin. Oh, we're blocking the hallway. The the hallway is only ten feet wide, and the two allies are in the way. You yeah. can't squeeze okay, past allies. Over. Well, she could, but then she would be in its space. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's taking up the width of the hallway. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move just a little bit closer. Okay. It's like half your speed. Yeah. I'm going to hold my action. Okay. So if it tries to get past me, I will take a swing. Okay. All right. All right, Plenty Crystal. Ample targets for it at the very front. All right, I am going to cast Ray of Frost. Okay. And that's at advantage, right? It's attack roll. Yep. All right. Okay, so nineteen to hit. Yep, hits. And. Uh, we Seven just need constant encounters with golems that we can't get past. <laughs> Alright, a... seven points of cold damage. It's, it's... Getting, getting a feel for this. Alright. It, it's, so... almost, it's almost as if uh, I intentionally set this up or something. No, I'm kidding. Um... So Crystal goes and raises her staff up at an angle. And then pulls her hand from the top of the staff. And shoots a streak of blue light towards it. And you all see as, like, the armor plating on the front kind of has this, like, scorched, frostbitten, like, uh, kind of marking on it. Slightly blue tinge. <laughs> Alright, top of the round, Arietta. Arietti. Arietti, not Arietta. Okay. Isn't there a show with Arietta? Uh, You're thinking of the, no, no, the, the story of Arietta. Uh, that roll is yeah. actually a twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> you advantage. Uh, you don't have advantage, but. <laughs> hey. Ouch. That's okay. not fun. You, you... <laughs> What you do have your dagger drawn in your offhand, don't you? Uh, that that roll was actually a twenty. What? what? Was it twenty? What? Reaction. Where God's blessing. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. There you go. Roll. Roll damage. Yeah, you can roll damage. Darts added a plus ten to your attack roll. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I'm gonna let this pass. I mean, I said it before we knew the yeah, roll, but, it's but still, you guys didn't still, hear me. Technically, it's an, a natural one. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, was it a one? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I didn't see it's that. Fine. It's fine. Uh, you, you consumed your War God's Blessing, so I'll allow it to hit. Otherwise, <laughs> you just blew that for no reason. Alright, 11 damage. Um... Plus, we don't have a whole lot more time in the session today. Oh, um, yeah. Time? It, it's almost a, it's four. almost four. Are you? Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we started um, late. We started we started a little bit late, and yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Um, all right, Zella, you're up. I'm re up in Witch Bolt. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. 17! Oh, nice. That's actually really nice. <laughs> That's a much better roll this time. Instead of a 1 and a 2 for 3. <laughs> Alright. You know what? That was a warm-up. She was warming up. Alright, two attacks no, against... No, I'm just- I'm blaming your dice. I'm not blaming you. Two attacks against Arietti. Um... One is a 21 and the other one's an 8. So that's one hit. I think it's just a... No, no, it's... Okay. 
I'm definitely spending this week getting my stuff set up so that I can do this. Uh, that's four bludgeoning damage as it slams its fists into you. Um, Alright. Uh, that's its turn as it kind of just stands there blocking the path. Uh, Zev, you're up. It was standing there menacing. Alright. I'm going to get within ten feet of it. All right. And since I, I have the uh, the magic that I like to call range, um, I'm going to use my glaive <coughs> to stab it twice. Okay. Or at least try to. <laughs> yeah. Go dice, don't fail me. There's a 16, and that's a 10. Uh, both miss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the gold dice may have failed you, but guess what? Your teammates have not <laughs> yet. All right. Um, anything else for you, Zev? Bonus attack with my polearm, master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um. Even though it says it's a 1d4 plus 4, it's a 1d4 plus 7 because of Hexblade's curse. Yep. Kill that thing. It's an 8. Alright. Nice. Okay. Uh, Alright, darts, you're up. Uh, I will make a, a weapon attack at it with my great sword. Okay. Uh, I will. That's not gonna hit. That was a natural one. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I see. I will a bonus action. Uh, try and hit it. Twenty four. Yeah, it hits. There's been a lot of ones on attack rolls today. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, 19, yeah. 19 damage. Excellent. Is that for you? Uh, can I try and jump over it? Uh, you used your action and your bonus action, so no. I meant with like my movement because no. I know jump is a part of movement. I know, but you don't have like the the crazy monk shit yet. Not yet, but <laughs> yeah. No, I would I would say you'd have to use your action to try to like get up the wall and around. Um, it is pretty big. Then I will use my movement, uh, to take a five foot square back, inflicting a, uh, opportunity attack. Yep. <sighs> Hits, um, that would be 13 bludgeoning damage as it punches you as you step away. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Alarin. Yes. Alarin is going to... Let's see here. He had such luck with his, uh, fourth level shatter that, uh, he's gonna do a third level shatter. Okay. Um, that's a fail. <laughs> so you roll an eighteen and a six. <laughs> how about a, how about a seventeen? Seventeen damage. Okay. Yep. And I roll my dice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, is that all for you? Yeah, that that'll be it. Uh, bonus action or not bonus action? Uh, yeah, well, bonus action. Uh, gonna give uh, Bardic Inspiration to uh, Arietti. Okay. Alright. 
Vera, you're up. Vera. They did. <laughs> Are you muted? Well, uh, I know I know she's muted, but I don't know. She's AFK. You want me to take my turn real quick? Yeah, she may have had to go AFK. Go ahead. <clears throat> Alright. So, seeing that, you know, the... The Ray of Frost didn't quite do all that much tougher than what she read about in her books and studies and whatnot. So she's going to cast a third level chromatic orb. Okay. Uh, okay that's it. Ooh. Nope, that's not going to hit. Yeah, the orb passes right over. Like, you, you kind of, like, almost huck it like a snowball. There, there's, there's a lot of people in the way. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and it passes right over the, uh, the golem-esque creature. I, li I like how a party of seven is struggling to take down a shield guardian right now. <laughs> it's a door. It's not our fault, it's a it's total, the, it's totally greatest, just a door. The greatest enemy of D&D players. A door. It's a door. It's a door. <laughs> Where, yeah, where's yeah. the fireball when you need it? <laughs> okay, I can't do some of my other spells, because everyone's right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most of the other spells are like cone and shit. Um, yeah, I have cone and AoE. Okay. Let me, let me see what. If he ever runs up and hits it. Yeah, that's, I'm going to do that. I just have to, I just have to, I don't remember what her attack bonus is. So I... Hi, I'm here. Okay. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Okay, it's your turn. Go. Okay. Um. <laughs> Can I... Can I get in there? Yeah, stepped back so that you could. I'm assuming yeah, that's I'm why get... Dart stepped back was so that you could yeah. get in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my weapon, and also just so you know, I did use the sun um, sword. Yep. And imbued it with the magic, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, it's going to be a 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. I don't think it's going to add my damage, so we'll do that, and then that. So it's a, it does, uh, it's a total of 18 damage for the first one. Okay. Does the Sunblade have bonus damage? Fire damage? Oh my god. It's extra radiant if it's an undead creature. Because uh, it's not the sun blade, it's the sun sword, but I use the sun blade. Okay. And then and I have it, another attack. 18 damage. Yeah. Oh, trying to math. Okay, go ahead. Okay. That's going to be 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And then <coughs> a total of 15 damage again. All right. You see, Azira raises her sword, carves into the uh, this creature of the first hit, and then the second slash coming back around, and you see now this cross pattern across the chest as it kind of collapses to the ground, and the magic around it kind of seems to dissipate, and it it collapses beneath. Yeah, maybe impacts of 
Vera's sword. And this creature is defeated, collapsed on the ground, and with that, we will end today, and we will be better prepared for next week. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. You guys killed a shield guardian. That was Why a did we have to roll so many nat ones? <laughs> <laughs> because we was have to fight the doors. At, at a curiosity, was that a weakened shield guardian? No, that, that was a full strength shield guardian. What happened to its 10 hit points of regeneration? Um. Yeah. It. It. It took it, but. <laughs> yeah, it just got destroyed, didn't it? Yeah. Very literally, literally guns for two rounds. Yeah, it's true. It, it it got shattered twice. Yeah. 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 True. Yep. Large parties. And it mo <laughs> most of it like so if you guys hadn't gotten into melee with it, it does nothing but try to cast spells at you that it can't cast because it doesn't have any. Oh. That's so sad. <laughs> the poor boy. He's trying so hard. <laughs> Let me just like cast jump on everybody, and then I can like make sure that you jump over it. <laughs> Are you going through this, Lexley? One second. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully the VOD for this one actually fully works, so...